Just a quick video on this 6R80 transmission. I've gone through it, pulled the transmission apart. You can find that in another video. And we can't really find where all, that, all the fine metal is coming from. Something's actually creating quite a bit of fine metal. So what we've done, we've got the torque converter out and we've just machined off the weld. Make sure you don't go that actually folds into this surface. So you, you don't want to actually just cut it. You want to machine the weld off. And then what you do, if you want to try and attempt pulling one of these apart, just so they can put it back together if they need to, or they want to, you just tap, tap around and the remaining weld will actually break. Tap right around. And see we've got it there. The way the torque converter operates, I'll just go into a real simple explanation of it. If you can imagine two fans facing each other, when you turn one fan on it's going to start spinning the other one. And that's basically how a torque converter works. It's, it's not blowing air, it's blowing oil. You've got the housing of the torque converter is connected to your crankshaft the fan that's connected to your motor that's spinning all the time and also driving the pump gear is on this part and that one's called the impeller you can already see that there's quite a bit of metal in there that's not from what we've done when we're cutting the weld it's actually in the transmission or out of the transmission it's actually magnetized there but you can see that fan there that one's called the impeller And then we have this unit, which is called a stator. And if you can imagine a, an aeroplane wing, you'll find that the blades that are facing the front of the motor, or towards the motor, or to the front of the vehicle, are actually wider, like an aeroplane wing, and thinner up this other end. And they've also got this, um, these splines here are connected to the stator splines which are on the pump and that's actually a, a one-way clutch you can see it can spin one way and it locks the other way so that's another part that can go wrong in a torque converter that goes over here You've also got the Torrington bearing there now we've got what's called the turbine the impeller the flow of oil is multiplied through the stator and forcing the oil going through and turning the turbine. You'll find there's another Torrington bearing there or needle roller. And then we take this part off. Just careful, very sharp edges and there's a lot of fine stuff there. I should be wearing gloves. You can see... Oh, there's quite a bit of metal in there. You've also got these damper springs that are there to absorb some of the shock when that clutch, torque converter clutch, is applying. And this part as well. Oh, a bit of a tight fit there. And there's also dampers in there. They fit in between in there. And they also have a cushioning effect. Sometimes these splines can wear out as well as the, a lot of things can go wrong with it. We don't normally open them up but I just thought I'd had to because I'm curious to see what's gone wrong in this transmission and you can actually see what's happened. This uh, I'm not sure if that's a bush there or it looks like it's locked on there but it's completely worn away and that's where we're getting the metal to metal contact. There you've got that was worn because that bush or thrust washer was gone this would have been rubbing up or hitting up against that as well This 
this one stuck a bit. Won't come out, I'll just pull that oil away. Just careful not to damage any surfaces there. This one's a real it's probably seized up from the heat. Now I've just flipped this over and just whacked it on the on a block of wood a few times it still won't dislodge but anyway I can see already from from there that this part on the, on the back of the turbine there's a thrust washer or there was something in here that is worn out and that's caused this here to just completely get chewed out and create all that metal. Transmission definitely is worn, but in this case, the torque converter was the thing that's blown up, or that thrust washer anyway. It's locked, locked on that. And I'm just getting metal everywhere, even through my gloves. A lot of fine metal. Hope that's helped. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Buy me a beer if you think any of my videos have been helpful in any ways. Thank you for watching.